I did it. This was day 16, my last workout of my max 30, max out with one week challenge. And wow, I mean, I maxed out farther, farthest I've ever done it with the last workout. And I'm so proud of myself. I never thought I could do something like this kind of workout training. I, I couldn't run for shizzle. I couldn't, I never was fast. I, my knees bugged me. I got 10 nights trying to train for a freaking half marathon a couple of years ago with my friends. And I just felt like so defeated to ever try anything athletic. That's why I got into yoga because it felt more dance-like and I didn't have to run. It wasn't high impact. And, um, I never thought I could do some sort of workout regime like this. I never thought I could be this fit or athletic feeling in my body. And today was a fight. And it was, I won the freaking battle with this challenge. I press play every day. I did my best to follow the eating program and keeping my nutrition dialed in as best as possible. I wasn't perfect. You know, there were days where it sucked and I was super sore. And, but I kept doing it every day, you know, pushing forward just a little bit further, just a little bit further, taking those baby steps. I didn't do a single push up full length, y'all, just saying. I was always on my knees, but I was burning icicles and fiery icicles in my body. And I was pushing to my max. And I was going above and beyond my self set limitations. And let me tell you, I am starting to surpass them. I. I want to encourage you today and empower you to <laughs> just purely that, like to let go of those self-limiting thoughts. I for years said, I can't do anything like this. I could never do like P90X or anything like that or like, or run a marathon or anything that seemed athletically extreme or fitness extreme to myself. I just assumed I couldn't. I assumed I was too fat and too unathletic and uncoordinated to do anything because I'm not very good at sports and like it's I didn't I don't think I really honestly lost weight I will like measure myself tomorrow but I know I've lost inches I've lost a cup two percent body fat doing this program for 60 days and I don't care if I lost weight because what's more important is that I am proving to myself that I am powerful, that I am, I have a voice to say, I, just by doing this a little something every day for myself, a half hour of me every day is such a sign of reverence for who I am and the spirit that resides within. I'm a Christian and you know, like this is for me an honoring of what God created within me and within each of you, and that is investing in yourself and your body because your body is your temple. It is a reflection and your representation of what creation is and and who God is. And you have to take care of yourself. You have to invest in yourself. You can keep replaying those old tapes of excuses. I don't have enough time. Homework. Um, my kids. My uh, my car, my work, my job. Yeah, those are important, but if you don't have the energy, if you don't have the energy to be fully present in those parts of your life, if you don't take time to honor who you are, the creation and the, the actual awesome light within each of us, and you don't take time for that and to cultivate it and to make it flourish, what's the point? You won't enjoy it anyway. And it's these those excuses, those are self-limiting thoughts that prevent us from really achieving the greater happiness that we can and go beyond layers that we ever thought of we could achieve in our life, whether it is fitness and nutrition related, whether it is with your career, whether it is with your family and personal growth, what have you. I mean, if you don't invest in yourself, if you don't believe in yourself and believe you have something to share and a power within you to share and the, a light to inspire others to share their light and power, then, then why are we here? Like, anyway, so a lot of deep stuff coming up from just working out 30 minutes a day with like, huh, <laughs> just saying. Working out, like for me, 
is a physical representation and a kinesthetic lesson to learn on deeper levels of being. That's why I love yoga. That's why I'm doing this. This is why I'm here. This is why I'm leading these accountability challenge groups or whatever you want to call them. I want to help inspire you and empower you today. I want to, you to help me inspire myself when I get down and on my own being and don't remember who, what a beautiful light I am, that we can use ourselves, we can be a tribe, a community to really inspire, ignite uh, an anti-culture of, of goodness and health and happiness and everyday being just by pressing play on yourself, investing in you and remembering that you are so precious, you are so important. And I am so grateful for this opportunity to be guiding groups and to share my story and to be raw and vulnerable to you. Yeah, we all got crap. I'm trying to turn my mess into a message for you, a message to inspire and empower you to invest in you because you are worthy. Whether you believe it or not, you are worthy of everything that you want to have happen in your life, of every blessing, of every happiness. And I want you to know that. I want you to believe that in yourself. And sometimes that just takes a baby step of whether it's just getting, for me, it's through a simple act of learning how to nourish your body and your spirit at the same time. And that's getting those little workouts in, that's treating yourself right with good food and taking time to prepare good food and be grateful for it. And that's where I feel it. And then all that ties into personal development. And I want you, as I end my 60-day journey, and I'm going to enter into a uh, 21 days of really taking it up a different path for my fitness regime of getting more into body weight, uh, about, uh, body sculpting sort of uh, regime. And I'll be sharing that along with you and see how that um, reflects in my life and, and along my journey with you. And if you want to join me on any of these, if you want to join me in my story and sharing your mess as a message for others, inspire others, I want to help you. I want to be there for you. I want to be fighting by your side. That's all for now, everyone. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And treat yourself right today.